Canva has made some updates and these three are going to save you so much time in your real estate business. I can't wait to share. My name is Alicia Crestel and in this channel, we are all about making more of your relationships, your systems, your content, and your energy. So if that sounds like something you want to do, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any video. You might know that Canva had its big glow up and a whole campaign around that, but there are three things specifically that I think is going to make your life easier as a real estate agent. And the last one won't just save you time. It's going to help you from getting stuck when you go in there and not know what to do. It's been a matter of days and I already see this helping me in my own business. And you don't have to be a Canva whiz to do these things. Number one is that the organization is way better as long as you know where to find your stuff, because if you're going in for the first time, you're like, where did everything go? I'm gonna show you. When you first hop in, you're gonna notice that they have those categories that they used to have on the side, right across the top here on your screen. And then on the left side, you're gonna be able to organize your content better. If you look on the left, you're still seeing your projects, which you can get into if you want that way, and it'll show you your recent designs. If you go back to the home page on the left hand side, they're going to be your starred and you have this ability now to have folders. I mean, I had Canva designs all over the place in different areas. Now you're able to put them in folders. You're able to put them right on the left section. You see the little plus sign there. If you hit plus, it'll allow you to name it. Let's say YouTube thumbnails. Now I have a section where I can put all my designs in that thumbnail folder, which you'll see I have some designs here of templates that I've created. I'm just going to drag them into that folder. And now they're in that folder now. I have a listing presentation here that I want to share with the Empowered Agents community. I'm going to go ahead and just drag it over and it's going to drop it. Now it's going to be inside that Empowered Agent folder. And any other templates that I share, I can just put them right in there and I have it in that one section. If you name it incorrectly, just hit the three dots and then you can rename the folder to whatever you want. Maybe best thumbnails. And when you hit the little arrow on the left, it gives you the drop down of what's inside that folder. On the organization side too, you can see that it has categorized your images where you can go through and look at all your images and you could go to your videos and look through any videos that you might have uploaded and you can change it by the date that it was requ recorded which helps if you're looking for a really old one. Another piece of their organization part that they've changed is when you click into a design, let's use this listing agreement as a one, you're not going to see all the tools yet until you actually click on the design itself. And then your tools show up on the left hand side. You can see when you hover over them, that's when you're seeing the different colors. So if you're looking for where do I change my color? Or where do I change this? You have to scroll over the options here. While we're in the listing agreement, I'm going to show you the next thing that's is super powerful and that I, one of the things that they've done that I'm most excited about. Let's say we go into the marketing page and we want this, we want to have the same sentiment, but we want it to look and feel different, maybe be in a different tone. Now you have the magic right option with which Canva has had the magic right option a while, but now you can go inside your designs and take a text that's already there and just say magic right and then ask it to be more formal, more fun, rewriting it, make it shorter continue writing in there, fix some spelling. Like there's so much more options. Oh, change the voice. Like you can change the voice here. How do you want this voice to sound? So here's what you do. You just hit the shorten button and it's going to do its thing. You know, it's happening because the circle's going around and around and it automatically made that shorter. I mean, if ever I'm going to spell something wrong, it's probably going to be on a Canva document. So having that fixed spelling is pretty good. Let's highlight it again. Use the sprinkle fairy dust as kind of like a mystery of what you're going to get. Make it more fun. It's going to change the words to be more fun. This means if you're using ChatGPT for anything, you don't have to leave the app and then go to ChatGPT or whatever you use and then come back in. It's doing it right there for you. This would be great for an open house flyer when you have to do things a little quicker and you just want to have the wording a little bit different than what it was on the listing. You can just have it rewrite it and see how it goes. I also think this will work really well for your short form things like an Instagram post or a quick Facebook post, like a poll. You could have the wording adjusted for you so it sounds better. You know how when you're so close sometimes you're like, oh, sounds okay, but I'd like it to be better. Use the magic right. This piggybacks off the magic right where it's using AI to help you is on the left hand side where you see brand, you know, you can put your colors in for the brand, you can put your information, um, you can put your text and your fonts, you can also add now your brand voice. So you can tell it, hey, always use this type of word or make sure you use a crab emoji in every post. Anything that's kind of sounds like your brand, you want to it to impress upon your posts or your content that you're creating, put it in there. And that's a new part of the branding section. Part of their glow up. 
if this is helping you with your Canva and you feel like you want more tips, make sure you type more tips below so I know that we could dive deeper in some of the things that Canva can do. The third thing is auto predict. If you're wondering like, where do I get my background remover? Where's the thing that I wanted? Canva is actually guessing and pretty well what your next move is. Kind of scary, but good also. So I click an image, BG remover automatically pops up. And as soon as I click it, it's going to automatically take that action. You don't have to go click another time. It'll ask if I want to background remove this picture. Also, if I want to upload a picture, I go over to uploads. I just hover over it. I didn't even have to click that. I'll just put a picture in of mine and then BG remover is up there. And then once I do that, it'll automatically do background remove it. That alone is a time saver. It's asking me here if I want to flip it, if I want to animate it, if I want to change the position, it will automatically assume some things that you might want to do. I click on the text. It's saying, hey, do you want to magic write this? Do you want to change the font? You can still get to all your old options over here by hovering over it. And if you click the text, it'll keep up those options for you. All you do is to get rid of that bar on the side is hit the X, which they made a cleaner design because remember before it was all on the side taking up all that space. Now it doesn't have to if you don't want it. If these types of tips are exciting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to learn how to bulk create, where you create multiple pieces of content at a time, make sure you click the video about bulk create. I'm walking you through step by step. And they have created an option where you can add the images now, not just the words. Remember, if you comment, I read every single one of them and I do my best to reply to every single comment you make.